Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pastor Cedric here. Listen, I want to welcome you to the first edition episode, whatever you want to call it, of Let's Talk. And Let's Talk is nothing more than an opportunity for me to dialogue with you, to answer your questions. I get questions in my DMs, my inbox, about everything from music, production, relationships, leadership, um, ministry. Um, and I would love to answer those questions. And so I decided to make a fun way of us being able to dialogue for people to get to know me, but also to put it out there that I'm open to answer questions and to have dialogue. Um, I don't believe I know everything. And I believe that we can actually learn from each other when we do get to dialogue and I can share perspective and um, thoughts on my approach to different things and the different dynamics, whether it's ministry or whatever. So listen, if you have not sit in a question, it's real simple. You go to the link in my bio and you just click the link. And that link is going to take you to a page that allows you to fill out a super, super simple questionnaire. It's basically going to say, hey, what's your name? Would you like to be tagged in this? Would you, what's your question? And then once it asks all those things, it's just literally three questions. You submit it. It gets back to me. I get to take a look at it and honestly just answer the questions. And so super simple. Would love to hear from you. So let's get into it. This first question is this. Um, it says, in an era where culture is predominant in church and in the world, how do you balance being as modern as you are effective? And I think there's really a couple of different nuances or ways to approach this. Um, I think culture is uh, a nuanced thing. So I do believe in there's like popular culture. Um, there's different forms of culture. And so there's subcultures also within culture. And so as far as the church, um, from that perspective, I think the church remains pure in its identity by holding true to um, foundational values that are a part of its culture in the midst of um, their attempts to not be relevant, but to respond um, to the current times or the climate of um, the world we live in. Paul constantly did this in scripture and you would see him use examples when he was um, speaking to people through letters. Um, you would see him use like the church at Rome or the church at Ephesus. You would hear him use different examples, even like putting on the whole armor of God, how he, how he compared that to a Roman soldier. So I think it's really interesting that you can see even his approach. Jesus even always responded to what was currently going on in culture. And um, I think the way we balance all of that, if you want to call it balance, would be to make sure that the core values remain foundational as far as for myself. Um, how do, how do I balance it um, with being modern? I would say, because we are the church, if you look at not just the building or, um, gatherings of people, but you are the church. I think the way we balance that is by remaining true and authentic to who we are. Um, and that we understand that, um, you can embrace levels of subculture, um, so that you can use that as a means to continue to be effective in your reach. And so I hope that answers your question. Listen, give me um, some comments. I'd love to hear your thought in response to that. I do believe wholeheartedly um, that we're supposed to do as much as we can to be effective and to be innovative, to not just be behind in culture, even behind in technology. I believe the world is always moving forward and that God wants us to be sensitive in how we navigate um, so that we can also take advantage of the liberties that we do have, um, such as social media. Um, for example, I believe if Paul had what we have right now, that he would have made an even larger impact than he already did. I mean, like he made a ridiculous impact, wrote the majority of the New Testament. So anyway, hope that answers your question. Again, do me a huge favor. Send in your questions. I've got more to answer. I've already got some in queue, so I will get to yours ASAP. But listen, while you're at it, um, if you have not already followed me on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, wherever I'm located, listen, let's connect. Let's have dialogue. I'd love to connect with you. All right. Peace.